feels amazingly good to be back on the channel and it is going to be super epic working for all these high schools across Africa. Somebody sent me a test and he said, is the government ready to support you? I don't know, even though I'm going broke already. So much traveling and fuel buying. Oh, <laughs> so if you do appreciate what I'm doing, please do give me your endorsement by hitting the subscribe button. Today, I'm heading towards a school here in Sekandi, Takrade, Ghana, West Africa, called Adiembra. I have heard so much about this school, but super ignorant I am about the school. And we have to share knowledge together. Please go to our school, go to this school, go to this school. But Charlie, pockets no good. <laughs> I hope to finish up with a few schools in this country then I'll navigate to some other African country. Please put in the comment box which country you want me to visit next and would you be ready to host me and take me around your schools. And also very soon we're going to be 10,000 subscribers. Oh my god! Please share this video for Adiembra already so that when you get to your 10 people also share it for you. Let's go to Adiembra right now! <laughs> It's here, they've written it in block letters and they slapped it down here below the crest. Knowledge is power. This is the first thing this school introduces to their students just when you walk in here with your trunk and your suitcase and you are coming to school. Welcome to Adesek. I'm actually here right now and I can't wait. Gosh! For... Ah, I heard my name. How is it going? That's it. Everything is going for how is it going? Everything is well by God's grace. I can't believe you are here. I cannot believe you've actually showed up to meet me and my people. Um, How far? Oh, so protocols first. Hey, Charlie, this one be different. Oh. Thank you very much. Guys, you always have to keep sanitizing. So, my name is Gosses from High Schools Africa. Please introduce yourself to me and my battalion. So, I am... Lady Hannah Apia, the first lady of Adyem Versenia High School. You are dressed as lady over here? Yes. Lady Hannah Apia, I want us to have an agreement. All my people, they know my face, but they don't know your face. And they are so eager to see who they, they are dealing with. Guys, this is the most beautiful girl you're dealing with over here, the head prefect of Adesek. So many people know about this school. They've heard the name Adyembra, Adyembra, Adyembra but little knowledge they have about the school and how awesome your school is. Can you please tell me when this school was established? Okay, so I'll tell you that, but first let's go have a look at something. Something? Yes. We are going to look at something? Yes. Where? It's right down there. Amazing. Guys, I'm ready for this surprise. Please, let's go and take a look at it. But before that, let's go for meal time. I have received so many things this week and I want you to have a look at them. It's meal time, entrepreneurship support. <laughs> meal time is the time I share with you the gift entrepreneurs mail it to me so that you can support them, right? I got this one from Common Sustainable Design. You guys recycle unused clothes into something very useful. Look, it's come on design. These guys need you to patronize what they are doing. I'm going to ask a question on Instagram. If you're able to answer, then I can get this one to you. Check up on the page High Schools Africa on Instagram. Let's get them to say something. Bibi, I hear, Bibi, I hear. Recycling materials in here. Eh, inti pere. Unko for support. Eh, what support na yomboa environment? You know, if a thousand pa, you may yamu. They also sent me this. This is a waste bag. I'm going to use this one in my next video. You can put a mini laptop in this or a tablet. You just can be creative with this bag. These drinks are 100% natural and they come in different varieties. You can actually call her and get some, as many as you want for your event. The most interesting thing about our production is that it's purely organic. It detoxes your body. It has no additives. We have almost about 12 different kinds of juices. Patronize any food product you see on the market that has ginafil on it, either spices, pepper sauce. This is actually the best product you can have on the market. Get in touch with her. Why are you watching the video from across Africa? Send your product to me here for meal time. I have put a number and address in the description box. So many students after the meal time. Guys, Hannah, please tell these people to support these entrepreneurs. Guys, please support this entrepreneur. Yes. So actually, the land we are working on right now. Is this land? Yes, this. Mm -hmm. 30 feet above sea level. This place, wait, wait. Hannah. This yes. place is 30 feet above sea oh, level. Oh, it is. It's 30 feet above sea level. And as you can see, we are surrounded by valleys. 
Yes, and our hill, our students climb this hill, they are empowered. And they know that immediately they climb and get to the school, they would be enriched with the knowledge they deserve. And none of our students has ever failed in life. So all the students that work in this school, like those who write their BEC and get in here, just when they go out of the school, they go and do well. Yes, they do well. Because this hill is called Hill of Hope and it yes. works. Yes, and not only because of that, we have a very powerful human resource that's our staff. Yes, they work with power, hard work, diligence and passion to train our school, uh, students of this school, both morally and then academically. Amazing. Please, if you're a student of Adiambra or an old student and you think this is true, please confirm it. Put it in the comment box that this hill actually works. Amazing. Can we go back there? Of course. Gosh, mm -hmm. I'd like to show you something just down here. Here? Yes. Oh, is a boy coming to Yes, this is the building that houses all the boys. Hey, Joseph, please come up. Who is Joseph? He's the deputy boys prefect. Joseph. Sir. What is so interesting about your dormitory? Okay. For so this very building, when you come here in the evening time, the lighting system makes this place look like Paris. Wait, 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 wait. Paris. Where's Paris? Paris, Paris. I mean Paris, where? France! Yes, seriously. <laughs> Actually, if we may see some of our teachers, they would like to even tell you something about this, the, the lighting system of the, of the boarding house. And again, if you stand this uh, very year and take a shoot of this place, people might think you are outside. Like in the night? Yes, please. Yes, please, because of the lighting system. So all the boys are down here, right? Yes, please. Great. And apart from that, we have our senior house masters also there with us. Oh, cool. Yes. So he's actually there taking care of you guys. Yes. Amazing. So one other thing I'd like to add about the dormitories, both girls and the boy, um, girls and boys dormitories, is that each room has um, a desk, and if any student would like to study in the mid, uh, during midnight. They can study and then it has good ventilation and good lighting system. So do you have a desk that at dawn somebody can, if they don't want to come on campus, they can just yes. be there with their small light and then they'll yes. be learning. Yes. Amazing. For other schools, there is this problem, bed bags, you know as usual. This place is bed bags free because of the fr uh, frequent fumigation going on on this very building. So you guys do fumigation over here a lot? Yes, please. Amazing. So no bed bugs. No bed bugs. Guys, over here you don't get bed bugs. Never. No bed bugs, please. If you're in a school that has bed bugs, I mean, at least you've seen one school that has no bed bugs, you can consider. Swap, please, swap. <laughs> Hannah, 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 what is this? So this is, as you can see, Adisek Bazaar. This is where the students get all their supplies. Yes, so anything you want at all, you can find it here. You so if they run out of provisions and they want something to buy, you can come here, and it's very affordable. It's not any, ex it's not expensive at all. Is it a yes. student shop, or maybe somebody it owns is it over actually here? run by the school? Yes, so the school provides the supplies, and then when you are out of provisions, you can come here. Is this a mosque? You have a mosque here? No, we don't have a mosque. This is actually called the summer hut. Yes. Your so, school has a summer hut like this? Yes. This is a summer hut, which um, when visitors come to the school, yes, this is where we accommodate them. Yes. And some of the teachers too sit here when they don't have a class or when they are preparing for classes, when they are preparing to meet their students. Yes. And this is different from the staff common room? Yes. It's very different from the staff common room. This, that's your school crest? Yes. Who did this that? is a school crest. So it, this was erected by the Student Representative Council 2016 to 2017 batch. Yes, as you can see, inscribed on it. Yes. But this is this is so creative. This is the first time I am seeing a school that has their their crest um, carved just like this way. Like, do you you understand? Please, do you understand yes. what I'm trying to say? I don't know how to say it. Don't, please don't judge me. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a school that has carved their crest just in the shape of a crest here at Adjembra. And this is so creative. From 2016-2017 batch, SLC. Yes. Amazing. I've never seen anything like this in any school. Please adopt this design. It's so nice. Can we take a photo over here? 
us, we are standing here as you can see. Mm -hmm. Other schools have their flags lying low. I don't know if the, a calamity has hit them or something. Okay. But for my school, the flag is always flying high. So as you can see, this is the Ghana's flag. This is Adyemba Senior High's flag and this is Akadet's flag. So this is this is your school flag, this is Adyemba flag and this is, of course, I know this one. But this is cadet, and yes. you have a cadet here? Yes, we do have a cadet. Amazing. A lot of schools are struggling to have a library. You guys have one. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Or just a show? No, it's, it's even in session. If any student would like to go research about something, you can just go in there and the books that you're looking for, you find them there. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Any book at all. Any book at all. But this is also an opportunity for all the old students of Adyambra Senior High School to come, actually come inside and check up on all the books that are there. If you find them not enough, maybe a specific book you think it can help the student and they don't have it over here, you can please come and donate that book to them. That would be so, please do that, I beg you. This is your dining, right? Yes. So what, what other food do you serve? Um, so we serve kenke, beans, um, beans and gari. We serve rice, plain rice and stew mm. with fish. We serve, um, for breakfast, we serve porridge with milk and bread and Tom Brown. We serve a whole variety of food here. Amazing. Yes. Guys, uh, Daniel is happening, right? Yes. So many people are in there. Eating. Yes. Yeah, so many people are in there eating, enjoying themselves. But I, I, I learned the home accounts people have prepared something for us. <laughs> Hannah. Yes. Down here, your school is welcoming people. Yes. When? was this school established? So back to the much awaited history of my school. The school was established in 1991. It was actually made... Oh, recently? Yes, it was actually made a senior high school in 1991. But before then, it was an experimental GHS. Yes. So during the educational reform in 1987, that's what brought about the establishment of the... Oh, so there was an educational reform in 1987? Yes, actually. Who did that? It was led by the former late president, Vice Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins. Wow. Yes. I never knew about that. Guys, I am so much ignorant. You see, I'm learning a lot to me. I'm learning. I don't know. I never knew this. Wow. You know something? My school almost closed down. Because of um, the surrounding schools, we have Pijai, Ahantman, so-called big, big schools. I don't even know why they call themselves big, big schools. They are so overrated and they contribute so little to national development. Yes. So. How do you mean they contribute little? Like if the people come out of the school and they join the society, um, they don't contribute anything? They don't at all. They don't. They just claim they go to big, big schools and all those stuff for bragging. Amazing. It's just a bragging right here. Amazing. Yes. So it was due to our very first headmaster, Mr. Godwin Fia, and some um, our board of the board of governor, the chief and um, board. It was because of their contribution that my school was reconsidered. Yes, with the purpose of accepting students whose grades didn't fall in the criteria of these so-called big big schools. Yes, and these students, when they came, our school polished them and made them who they are today. When you go act around, you wouldn't find any sex student, an old student, without a job. Yes, and they are the most well-cultured and most well-behaved students around. <laughs> Wait, so all your students, all your old students out there do have jobs? They do. They don't, they have not joined the Association of Unemployed Graduates? No, they do. You see, my school, even though has a very small compound, but then we have a very quality human resource. So our teachers not only train us physically, but they train us mentally to face the outside world. This lady knows what she's saying. You see, I think what is so much important is the human resource. That is what we are not covering. Because like, I, I want to agree with you somehow, because like you say, so many schools call themselves big, big schools. And they produce people and then they show up in the society and they become... Liabilities. Okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> but she's confidently saying that her school actually has quality, she used the word quality, quality human resources. Yes. And all the people that get into this school and go out are employed because they're able to do something with their hand or something. Yes. They are, they are mind, 
their mind they work. <laughs> like our motto says, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So you guys come here and you acquire the knowledge and you go and put it to work. Yes. We don't sit idle somewhere, keep the, what we learned in the school in us, we just reproduce it so that the whole nation enjoys or benefits from it. Amazing. Yes. Jembra Senior High School became, like fully became a high school not long ago, as uh, Hannah said, somewhere in 1991. But look, this school is doing amazingly well. They have a siren over here, but even that they also have this traditional bell over here that they use it a lot. Of course, they keep using this one for general information, announcing COVID protocols and all that. But they have kept this one over here because of tradition. You see, Western Media Brainwash is taking a whole lot of things out of our society. But these guys have a sense of keep what is indigenous and they're still using this. And it's so okay. This it's a phone boot that is actually supposed to be there for them to use it but these particular ones have broken down and please this must be fixed anytime soon the network provider should show up over here and get this one fixed or they should have an alternative for them since um they don't use phone over here and they also have to communicate with period i mean something somewhere somehow so the network provider should come over here and then get this thing fixed for them one thing i like about this school is also the fact that they have a lot of these buckets over here so any step you make you come across this one and you keep washing your hands and look some classrooms have air conditioners i've never seen a school with classrooms that have air conditioners of course they are not enough since they've started this thing, please, all students, I'm calling on you, I am calling on you. Come and donate air conditioners to this school so that there will be proper chilling even as learning is happening. Please do this for me. I beg. I beg go. Oh, come and donate air conditioners. And look, these guys can also boast of resting chairs over here, and it is positioned just under these huge huge lawns over here these huge, huge trees so whenever the sun is scorching and all that when they go out for break they can just sit here and relax themselves here at Ajembra senior high school the wind over here is so much see they are surrounded by valleys down here the head prefect actually told us that told me that the head prefect actually told me that this place is above like 30 feet sea level ha huh. so amazing and Recently, the government carried out school projects by building blocks and all that, school blocks, and of course, they had their share. So when you go inside, let's go inside. They have quality chairs, just like the ones you've seen in other schools. These are so amazing, guys. Look, this is at the set chairs. This, these tables are, because it's examination, so um, everything has been just um, scattered over here. Maybe they've arranged the best of them in the assembly hall, but look, Ajua Kelly, Betty, I don't know. These guys have decided to write their names. Maybe when they are done with school, they are taking it home. Please don't take it home, it's not yours. And they are not handicapped of fans. They also have fans over here for super cool ventilation. Amazing. So I earlier on saw this, I don't understand. This notice board over here. Well, Hannah, please come. Hannah, I know 2021 batch are still in, in school. Why do we have this thing over here with Home Economics Student 2021 batch? Okay, so actually our batch, we decided that every department will do something for our school before we leave. So this is actually... Wait, wait, wait. You guys will do something for the school, even as you're still in school? Yes, even as we are here. Even as we are still in school and it's still in this academic institution. This is our school. Yes, so we decided to do something for the school before we leave. And this is actually by the home economic student and the general arts department. Yes, we bought speakers, yes, and microphones for the school. And the business and science, they donated a board for the school. So the visual arts students are yet to bring on board what they are planning for the school. Amazing. So this is so this is so inspiring. Guys, these guys are, I've never heard any story like this. Truly, I've never heard, I don't know if you have, but they are in school. They are actually in school as students and they are able to come up with a project for the school long before they will even leave this school and then go back home and I mean donate something again as old students. Oh, maybe other schools just just look at this giving culture, okay? Cultivate this giving culture and give it back to the school. You see, the, all the schools across, the high schools, 
Their biggest stakeholders are the old students. But these guys are not even old students yet, but they are giving it back to the school long before they leave. Can, what should we, you guys are, what, con, the Congress? Yes. Please. That is why when they go out there, they, they, they don't, they are, they don't, they, they are not jobless. Anna, this, this is your home accounts department. What is so fascinating about your home accounts? Yes, so if you'd ask that, then I'll leave you with a tax. You can go ask. You leave me with what? A task. A task Guys, yes. we have a task. You can go ask about all the famous catering organizations, those who bake, cook, all those stuff. And you trace their background to Ajemba Senior High School. For real? For real. Like we train home economic students to actually be productive in the society. Yes. So all the major catering services we have in Ghana, yes. if you should go and track them where they're coming from, yes, the you school that made most them. Of them. Most of them yes. are coming from Ajembra. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So what it means is that literally, if there are girls out there like BEC students who want to, um, this is actually their catering. best choice. They can't go anywhere. They should just come to Ajembra near High School. And that will be it. Yes, that will be it. To we'll train them in any course or any life aspiration they would want to do anything at all be it home economics general arts be it science or business be it visual arts you can train them over here over here you heard this from the horse's own mouth not me <laughs> so gosh in mm -hmm. the next show Adembra Senior High School is a school that trains students both academically and physiologically for the outside world. This it's a mid school, it also trains you in how to socialize when you go outside. Because some schools can't socialize, I mean some mid schools, people come out of the school and they are unable to socialize. Is your school like that? No. Actually, our school trains you to interact with the opposite sex, yes, so you wouldn't feel intimidated by them. Amazing. Yes. So we train you both morally and then socially and then physically like what and then in knowledge too. Yes. And my school has the best human resource, like I said, the most quality, quality human resource, yes. And right now we are like as small as my school is, yes, though we are the youngest, but we have our population is about three thousand. Three thousand? Yes. Yes, 3,000. And we are part of the top 10 um, most populated and then best schools, academical and then population-wise. Yes. For real? For real. So the, the 3,000 population, it comprises of um, both miss, uh, day students and, and then boarders. And yes. boarders. Yes. So like our boarding facilities um, houses one third of the school's population. Wow. Yes. Wow. So you can imagine, even a school as small as this with limited facilities, if we can produce better grades, our highest grade so far is seven. Once? Yes. Seven? Yes. In this school? Yes. And this, um, this year, our agenda, like when, we came, when you came to ask around, was eight A's, agenda eight A's. Agenda eight yes. A's. So we are hoping that this badge would bring an all A's. Yes. So, so, this, so wait, this is, you mean this is the year that the slogan, the conquest, is actually going to manifest? Yes, exactly. Exactly that. Amazing. Yes. So you can imagine if we had better facilities like the so-called big, big schools. Yes, we would do far more better than that. Far more better. But people will actually, I know this guy watching will say that. This school is populated because you guys don't perform or something. That's why you. you, you what That's do you actually think? not true. Even though, yes, you can say most of the schools that uh, most of the students that enter the school come here with um, big, big grades, like, like low, low grades. grades. Yes, but when they leave the school, they go out with single grades. Yes, and very good grades. Very, like I said, our highest grade so far is seven, seven A's. Amazing. Yes. So you can, the school doesn't just accept low-grade students and make them poorer. It rather elevates them to a very higher standard. 
Yes, so our school is very great. So on the contrary, see, if a school that will accept people with low grades, like students with low grades, and work on them to the extent that when they are leaving the school, they can produce seven ones, then that means that school has really good teachers. Yes, we, like I said, we have quality human resources. Our teachers, our staff are the best. You can't find them anywhere at all. They are the best. Amazing. I wish you could have seen any of them teaching in the class. You would have been so amazed, so shocked how best they put the passion in which they teach. It's so incredible. Awesome. Now people will, because so many people are watching like BEC students and all that, and they would like to maybe show up over here for a, a course. What subject do you, is it, is it subject? It's been a long time I left the school. Is it subject or course you do over here? Course. Course? Yes. What course do you offer over here? We have home economics, home economics visual arts, visual arts business, business, general arts, general and, science. and science. Yes. Five this yes. five of these are five. done over here yes. so here no technical no technical so if you want a technical school don't look over here but the general subject that you want to pursue the course please look nowhere now, this is a school that has so much but this is a school that has so much potential and uh, there's so much that needs to be done over here and like i said that your biggest stakeholders of the high schools are the old student if you're an old student of this place please 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 show up over here and come and contribute a lot to the school just connect with the school and then look out for what you can do over here and just support hannah where are we going i'm going i'm taking you to see our headmaster please let's the go and see the headmaster the rain has been super unfair to me today but i'm finally here with the headmaster oh my god sir good evening good evening please all these people watching you would like to know your name thank you very much thank you sir i am really am Kwekutechi. Yeah, the headmaster of Adam Resina High School. Wow. Mr. Techi. People are so much confused and ignorant like myself, super ignorant about this school. So many people have heard about your school's name, Adembra, Adembra, but really they don't really know what the school is capable of, where it has come from to now and what is where it, the school is going. What is it that people should really understand? about your school. Thank you very much. My school stands for making young people achievers. And so our vision is that every student who passes through this school at the end of the day will become an achiever. And so when a student comes here, what we imbibe into the student, every process that we make the student go through, at the end of the day will make the student an achiever. When I talk of an achiever, I mean the person will make a meaningful impact in society, whether in Ghana, outside Ghana, everywhere that uh, a student who passes through the four walls of the school uh -huh, would find himself or herself, the person will make an impact, positive one, meaningful one. Yeah. Amazing. Sir, can you testify? Because Hannah told me that, of course, we all know the slogan of the school is the Congress. Yes. Now, Hannah told me that people who pass through this school get out into the world and they become innovative they, they don't they don't end up jobless how true is that very very true maybe that was an understatement i say it is very very true uh, when students pass through the four walls of this school and they get to the tertiary institutions they are able to wrap shoulders head on with those who are claimed to have come from the well-endowed schools. You see, she's saying the same thing, you see? Hannah used the same word, so-called big schools. But <laughs> interestingly, headmaster is also saying this is so-called big schools. That's so amazing, sir. Yes, as if we sat down to have an orientation, but we didn't have anything of the sort. Amazing. Uh -huh, because we know what our students at the tertiary institutions are, are, are doing over there. We get reports from them, and so we know that they are actually rubbing shoulders with people who come from other areas. Even though we have not been in existence for long, we are 30 years this year. 30 years, 1991. Yes. Now, sir, there are so many old students who are watching you. Some, when they got out of this school, they have never stayed here before. Now they feel so much inspired seeing their school. What is it that you tell these old students? You know, old students, they are one of the major stakeholders when it comes to burden 
a formidable educational institution uh, where we attended school we know the impact that all students are making because this school has not been in existence for long even though 30 years is, is quite okay and the impact for I mean you testify would not be like maybe other schools who yes, have been in for, existence for, for 100 for sure. years yes. or what have you yes. but the little impact that they are making we appreciate it but I want to appeal to them that you know we have bank managers people CEOs who are managing their own institutions others in very well endowed agencies in the country uh, normally when an appeal doesn't come from a formidable uh, old student association the leadership people will tend to relax uh, but I am using this platform this forum to make a passionate appeal to them that at the Embrace Senior High School is what has made them even though God has a hand in it sure but once education is concerned at the Embrace Senior High School has made them who they are and so I am extending a hand of a, of, of, of a request to them that they should remember where their umbilical cord has been buried. They should come to us, come and help, so that their younger ones who are here will also benefit from the strength that we expended into making them who they are. And so wherever they are, those who are outside Ghana, those who are in Ghana, those who are in various institutions of repute, come and help at the Embra Senior High School so that we can continue to turn out or churn out people who are achievers. In fact, you have been amazing, taking it upon yourself to come and see how our institution is making it known to the outside world is, is a great stride, it's a great move. And so on behalf of my management, on behalf of my board, board of governors, and all the stakeholders in Adembra Senior High School, I say we thank you so much. Thank you, sir. We pray that God will continue to bless you. And as you are doing this, I want to appeal to outside world to also support you with fans so that you can keep doing this good work that you are doing. Please! Now the night is falling already. We've heard so much about this great school, Adjembra Senior High School. Guys, my vision is to get to you so that you can give back immensely to the schools. The schools, you are the major stakeholders of the schools and you really have to come all the way out and contribute so much and just help the school. Because yes, we can wait for the government, but when, when? There are so many schools, like 721 high schools across this country. So let's all come out and then give a helping hand to our alma mater. That won't be bad. So um, basically, this is it. Which other school would you like me to visit? I would love to visit some other African country. Please suggest it in the box. Will you be ready to host me? I can't wait to be in any of the African countries just to show you how amazing their high schools are. Until then, please, if you do appreciate what you're doing, just give us your endorsement by hitting the subscribe button. That would be so awesome. I'll see you again very soon. And bye.